participants once again welcome to the online video content on the physical layout of the restaurant in the last class we have discussed about the objective of the layout of the restaurant today we are going to talk about physical layout of the restaurant the physical layout is of prominent importance because every restaurant has got somehow the other physical layout in the last class we have looked at into the aspects of the physical layout of the uh, mcdonald restaurant that is a fast food fast food joint we also discussed about the fine dining layout and we have also talked about the pan asian or a chinese or a japanese style of restaurant so the content for today that we are going to cover would be parts of restaurant it means what are different parts of restaurant we will talk about restaurant parameters the restaurant parameter talks about the different uh, dimensions or different types of tables that are being used for the sitting purpose for the guest that is the overall layout of the restaurant and we will talk about physical layout of a restaurant how the layout should look like let's move further the first thing that we need to discuss or talk about is the parts of restaurant we all understand that every restaurant has a part like at our home we have a part of a home in the same way the parts of the restaurants are the restaurant will have entrance every restaurant have their own distinctive unique entrance which differ from each other there would be a dining area where the layout setup sitting area would be uh, done for the guest to sit and dine there would be a restroom for both the genders male and the female there is a back area and in the back area there is a kitchen now the kitchen could be in the back area it could be a front part of the area also because nowadays the seamless kind of kitchens are readily available for the restaurant layout where foods are being prepared in front of the guest and guest can feel and see how the food is being prepared for them as per the orders the back area talks about uh, the display it talks about the kitchen stewarding area it talks about the back area where we have uh, pantries we have the storeroom where we keep our stocks surplus stock for the service to the guest now when we talk about restaurant parameters if you look at the picture out here towards the left hand side on the top most you will find there are three different diagonal tables for cover of four for each now it says the international standard says when we are placing diagonal tables we could we would be able to place more table inside the restaurant so it says when different diagonal tables are being used in that scenario 30 inches should be the space between two diagonals edge of the table i'm again repeating in case we are using square table diagonally to each other the space between the edges of both the tables should be 30 inches this international standard but many of the restaurant also have a little space constraint in that scenario it should not be less than 24 inches again saying in case it is in constraint little bit in terms of the space then the space which between two diagonal tables should not be less than 24 inches otherwise it becomes very difficult for the guest as well as the service room to provide the service to the guest the second picture if you look at the top next to the chitkara school of hospitality you will find that you will find there is a rectangular table and three people are sitting all together there so it says uh, the space between two chairs between uh, the middle of the chair should be 30 inches so that there is a gap between two guests sitting all together if you look at the middle of the picture it talks about in case the table setup is against the wall so it says 36 inches the international standard so the gap between the wall and the chair of the guest should be 36 inches so that the guest can move and the service team can provide better service to the guest in case the rectangular tables are in lines to each other 42 inches should be the space between two tables which are parallel to each other and in case it is opposite to each other 42 inches should be the gap between the chairs this is the international standard i am talking about that 42 inches should be the minimum gap between two chairs so that the service team can provide the service to the guest in the most efficient manner now in case it is very narrower and the guest is sitting so it says between the tables the rectangle the square tables should be 42 inches gap in case the table is towards the wall where you don't need too much of movement so it says the gap between the two chairs after seating of the guest should be minimum of 6 inches likewise this is what it talks about in terms of the restaurant parameters let's move forward now let's talk about the size of the 
tables keeping in mind number of guests the table can entertain we all know that we use three different types of tables in a given restaurant to accommodate the guest which are square rectangular and round tables now these all the three different dimensional tables have different dimensions to sit different number of guests if you look at the aspects of the rectangular table we need 30 inches into 72 inches rectangular table for seating of six people if you look at the picture towards the left hand side next to that you will find in case we have to seat eight people if it is seating eight people so the dimension of the table would be 30 inches into 96 inches so we can accommodate eight people this kind of table we use on the corner side of the in the restaurant so that the ta long tables could be used either for the personal dining room or it could be used for family type of gathering for the guest now if you talk about round tables round tables have different dimensions in terms of diameters so 36 inches in diameter round table would be used for four people 42 inches diam in diameter round table would be used for five 48 inches round table would be used for five people 54 inches round diameter table would be used for six people the 80 in 60 inches round diameter table would be required for eight people and 72 inches round diameter table would be required for 10 people likewise now this eight people and 10 people uh, configurations are generally used in the banquets i have not seen much of this use in the restaurants unless it is of exceptional quality or they have added some tables which are of this much of capacity otherwise in the restaurant you will find you will get seating of 6 or 5 because you can add that round table to give a multi dimensional effect to the restaurant by adding two tables or three tables maximum round tables inside the restaurant now if you look at the square table out here on the left hand side below you will find there are different sizes keeping in mind the number of seating there so we have 2 feet 6 inches square table that can seat two people we have 3 feet table square table for four people four feet table for four to six guests five feet table for four to six guests six feet table for eight to 10 guests and eight feet table for eight to 12 people now this six feet eight feet table tables or five feet are generally used in the banquets or in the outside area in the lounge for the guests to accommodate generally in the restaurant in case you have to put a place a table a cover of 2 next to the wall so if we use 2 feet 6 inches table so that two people can be accommodated in the center or in the diagonally or in one station of the restaurant generally we use rectangular table uh, at one side and we use the square table on other side so that we can have a very good layout of the restaurant this is what it talks about in terms of the different dimension of the table sizes of the restaurant now if you look at the aspects of the restroom how much restroom would be required okay it says for a toilet for male and for female so in case for a male guest we need one toilet for every 100 guest and two toilet for every 100 guest in case the guest are female in nature urinal that is required is one for every 25 wash basin is one for every toilet or one for every five urinals okay and for females it is one for every toilet now let's move forward let's talk about the restaurant of the layout we all know in case when we talk about restaurant restaurant layout talks about the part of the kitchen as well as the part of the service area now generally in the international standard says the space the ratio between the restaurant area and the kitchen area is something like this the 30% or the 40% area of a restaurant is of is for the kitchen now the space varies between uh, fine dining to a coffee shop style of restaurant now if you look at the restaurant out a layout of the uh, restaurant layout you will find the kitchen part or uh, is located next to the restaurant or it is something like a seamless okay now you will find there are sink there are cooking line there are stock coolers there is a food service counter from where the food can be picked up by the guest there is a staff quarter where the guest can uh, where the staff can change their uniform the kitchen staff can change the uniforms and on from one side there is an entry 
to the kitchen for the service team and to pick up the food from there and move to the kitchen to move to the restaurant and do the service and you will find there are two restrooms one for female and one for male separately as per the uh, legal clause says every restaurant that is serving fine dining or a fast food there should be restroom a restroom should be bifurcated into male and female and many many of the places even the handicapped type of restaurants was uh, restrooms are being also being created now if you look at the picture out here the uh, table seating are divided to four different parts if you look at one is on the corner on the upper side where the seating is being done and next to it the tables if you see are diagonal in nature and on the right hand side on the corner you will find there is one round table for five okay and if you look at in the center you will find the tables are arranged in such a way that four four sittings could be done but here the table that we are using are of rectangular in nature so we are using different multi dimensional different layout of the tables for accommodating different types of guests keeping in mind the layout of the restaurant and on one side you will find there is a, a couch sort of thing or a bar you can talk about where the bar stools are being laid out are placed next to the bar counter for the guests to sit and enjoy the drinks this is what it talks about in terms of layout of the restaurant this is one of prototype of the layout of the restaurant there could be many more medium and different methods of creating a layout for the restaurant this is what we talk about layout of the restaurant you can try this type of layout of a restaurant at a given home or in the classroom keeping in mind the di different dimension of the table that we use for for different cover seating thank you i hope you will like this session thank you thank you a lot